I've been working with Access Consciousness for a couple years now. I'm a certified facilitator. And I ask a lot of questions, and I love taking things apart. And the, the nature of that is such where I like to get into what makes things get locked down, and I like to take them apart. I like to untangle them. And so I learn a lot about the structure of what uh, binds people down, connects people to things that are limitations for them. Um, and I have gifts of perception that just seem to naturally do that. So what if there are these things called incarnational agreements? And I'll, I'll refer to them as entry agreements as well. And these are agreements that you accepted prior to incarnating that allowed fine print to be inserted into your life, life plan, your soul agreement, your blueprint, whatever you want to call it, like, like what you had come here to play in and do, like what you thought would be your life. All of a sudden, there were like little twists that didn't, you don't remember putting those there. Does that ring for anybody else? Yes. Yeah. 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 Very much so. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. This is what you were looking for, kids. Right here. This is what you knew was there all along. You were looking for this. You knew this was here. There are something called reinstatement clauses. Um, also, I call them auto-install clauses. Um, and they're agreements that you accepted uh, pre-incarnation that allow you to, um, things that you accidentally let go of, to have them reinstated for you. Isn't that nice? In case you accidentally uh -huh. drop something along the way, they'll put it back for you. What a service. That's just such a service. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I want to click accept to that. That's a great service. <laughs> Um, so all, allow yourself to perceive all the reinstatement clauses that you have agreements around that auto reinstall things back into your system. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. All of those. All of those. All of those. Expand out further. And if you're in this space of going, oh my God, I can't believe there are that many. There are more. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. There are more. Keep going. There are more. They're bigger. Keep going bigger. Expand bigger than that. Expand bigger than that. Expand bigger than that. That's called a signatory system. And what if we were able to write signatory systems that actually were created on the other side, that were created in, in your incarnational system, that every time that on this planet, in this real now, you bound yourself to an agreement, you rebound yourself back to, you rebind yourself back to all the stuff in your incarnational agreements. So it's real time binding. Like you bind right now, like every time you sign your taxes, you are rebinding, not just to, to that document, but to the taxation system, to the system that allows the taxation system to be in place, to the system that allows the dominance and control system to be in place, to the system that allows the overlay that allows the dominance and control and taxation. And like, it's the system that's called a signatory. Can you feel the scope and magnitude of that? Wow. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? I'm so impressed. I must have created something here. <laughs> so uh, allow yourself to perceive how many signatories you have engaged that are binding you. Uh -huh. Does that kind of look infinite? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Mine is such a big number, it just looks infinite. Uh, okay, so um, again, what if these are all illusions and these are all, <laughs> Casey says, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if these all these signatories are just choices? They're just agreements that you chose to click accept and then chose to forget that you made them. What if it's that simple? They're just illusions. They're just illusions. So everywhere that you've made this way more complicated than a choice to not buy into the illusion. All the layers of complication 
that you have added to this whole planet <laughs> and this whole construct and this whole life when it's really as simple as you can choose something different. All the shiku, stupidity, unconsciousness, anti-consciousness around all of this. Can we destroy and create it all?